Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com and you're joining me on my bike as we bike out of Western Rin but not back to my hometown of Oswestry as we have done before. We're biking out into Wales and we're just going to head to a couple of the random places where over the last five plus years I've spent a lot of time and they've got certain random little bits of and unexpected importance to me for no apparent reason but here we're heading out towards Bronny Yath which I'll put on the screen for the spelling um, but there's a couple of places that I love out here because again these are the places that I've spent most of my 20s out exploring and walking to and from and this bench here is a particular favourite place of mine not only because looking across the road here this is literally only a few feet away from the bench on the other side of the road but you can see you've got this beautiful view and up on the hill there you've got Chirk Castle which again is just fantastic and it's brilliant sometimes over the winters because they um, in the dark nights light all of the castle sides up so you can see it for miles around and it's like a super beam of light heading up into the sky and anyway that's that's all just distraction what I love about that place there is for no apparent reason, I used to, and this is only in the last like couple of years, I'd bike and be on me bike all in these places, and I'd stop and read on me Kindle there, and if anybody's ever read The Forever War, that is where I read most of that book. It's only a short book, but it's one of those random things that, that just became one of my places to go, and you saw us just pull into the car park there, as here on the road to Bronny Gaff, we have got these old lime kilns, as limestone used to be like a huge part of the general local industry here, and I just love all of these places, and it's like, look at that, you've literally still got actual like, soot and ash on the brickwork on the inside, and these are the things that I just love so much about growing up in this sort of area where it's all super rural and you've got loads and loads and loads of this sort of abandoned old agricultural and industrial stuff around that is right there. A lot of it's disappearing and getting overgrown and being made almost invisible unless you know it's there already. You can see again this is an area where we have very bumpy roads but I really wanted to keep in this little clip here where it gets extremely bumpy as we're crossing over the bridge to Pont Faddock here just to show you what the general areas that I talk about are like where you literally just have places like this where you've got random cottages and houses dotted around. You have loads of these places where you have white stones and uh, boulders placed around to mark the edges of grass verges and things like that and oh, I do just as I say and as you're probably well aware by now if you watch these videos I just love all of this sort of stuff and the more that I'm starting to get older and less less inclined to do massive days of like 32 mile walks and so on the more I'm feeling luckier and luckier that I've managed to do so much of that and enjoy so much of that when I was at my like, absolute physical best in my early 20s Anyway, as we cross over this bridge and head back up to the uh, the far end of Western Rin from which we set out, I will wrap things up and say thanks for watching. Check out my other videos for loads more biking, loads of boat life and goodness knows what else. Feel free to add me on Facebook and Twitter and like the Facebook page and all that sort of stuff. Until the next time, keep it bike worthy, keep it boat worthy and farewell.